This bad boy out. He's worth every bit of one for Garmin. Woo! Jeez! Hey, what's up guys? All right, so today I'm out here at beautiful Pensacola Beach. You can't see it because of the glare. And we're doing some fishing and we're gonna try to catch something weird and something big. And it's late in the afternoon and I hope you like my new sunglasses because I found them, they're awesome. So here we go guys, here we go. <laughs> Guys, we're almost there. We're almost to the snorkel reef. Check out my new sunglasses. I found them in a drawer. They were free. Pretty awesome. And I can see myself. So I just pulled up. We got to offload here. Jimmy's already out there. I met him out here and he's already catching bait. I got a few tigs, so uh, frozen ones. So I don't know if I'm going to catch bait. But I think it's going to be a good day. Pretty pumped. Let's just get this thing off. Guys, just got out here. There's blue fish all over the place. That's what I'm trying to get. You see the birds diving. The water is crystal clear, crystal calm. I got five cigar minnows, a sabiki rig, and a gotcha plug. That's it. You're paddling. Got a cigar minnow back there, looking for trouble. Found Jimmy. Lost the first bay of the day. No trailer hook. Hashtag. Huge run. Huge run. Lost him though. It's really hard to do the camera and paddle. We'll be back in a second. Paddling over the same water I just had to hit. Like maybe 15 feet of water. I think, well, I thought I was a Spanish mackerel, but it might not be. He whirling me around. What do I got here? Come on. Get me out front here. Come on. Come on. Fish on, fish on like Donkey Kong. What kind of lightweight fish is that? I think it's a Spanish. I really... Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> he said, hey, holla at me, boy. Holla at me. Spanish. Check it out. worth every bit of one cigar minnow. Woo! Jeez! Dud taco right there. Hit, hit my biggest cigar minnow. Did it? Yep. That bad boy right there, that's dinner for, dinner for two. All right, gotta get another. Gotta get another one, baby. Woo! All right, all right guys, I had a super hard time killing this fish. Hope you can see him. Stuck him like four or five times, still going crazy. But he gonna eat good, that's for sure. Next fish. I'm gonna go by my boat, toss at him. Woo! Another Spanish. Check him. He'll eat. Just big enough. Sashimi time, baby. Oh. All right, guys. So I want to show you what I caught today. Because I'm gonna take this back and I'm gonna cook it tonight. I think I'm either gonna do I'm either gonna do a sashimi. 
Samantha's texting me right now. So, right now, I want to show you this fish, because this is a bruiser, if I don't flip over. That's a bruiser Spanish mackerel right there. Check him out. He's going to feed two plus right there. With a lot of fun in between. I got one more so far. I'm going to throw a few more times. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy that sunset right there. Check it out. Can you see it? Jimmy's over there. Got bait balls all in here. Got a couple dudes over there fishing on the shoreline. It's been a good day. I just came out here. Had about two hours of spare. Threw the kayak on top of the truck and came out here. But I'll tell you. There's not a, I don't think there's a prettier place on the planet than Pensacola Beach, Navarre Beach, anywhere around the Gulf Coast. So, right now I'm going to finish up. If I catch another one, you'll, I'll put that one on this video. And I'm going to head to the house and see if I can cook something. Alright guys, so if you're wondering how I'm catching these fish today, I want to show you. These gotcha plugs right here. Let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? Just a gotcha plug. It's actually the tsunami version. It's not a gotcha. The gotchas are expensive, so I'm using tsunamis. See it? It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. But, yep. And as you can see, my line's goofed up. I've been fishing with it like that all day. Still working though. And uh, I caught the big fish, the big Spanish mackerel on some like old cigar minnows that's been in the freezer from the last episode where samantha broke my kayak these were the same minnows same cigar minnows and also my outback still broken and then the tackle i was using is a pin 850 right here with just a treble a trailer hook and a treble hook they're both trebles and some 42 pound steel wire and then mono up the top it's a pin 850 with a 50 pound braid very simple same rig i've used for years and one thing i've noticed out here you don't have to be fancy any old garage sale stuff will just about work just come out here and have fun you don't need special stuff look i basically fish with a treble hook a gotcha plug and a speaky rig the entire year and pretty much it's the same gotcha plug or a tsunami gotcha plug it's the same treble hook just about that'll last me most of the season so don't let the marketers fool you you don't need a lot just a fishing pole a little steel wire and a treble hook and a case of cigar minnows the fresher the better I'll tell you a cool thing about the gulf coast is after like july august when all the kids go back home or they get back in school, get the whole beach to yourself. There's like no tourists out here after like September. So from September, October, November through the winter, even though last year it only got to like 77 degrees most of the days, 72 probably bottom, had a couple cold, cold days, but that's theoretical. But what I'm saying is there's like nobody down here. So if you schedule a vacation, do it in the September, October, November, all the fish are still here. All the bait fish are in. The king mackerel is usually still here. And there's always something to catch in the fall. It's the best time to fish. You get sunsets like this. With fish like this. Let's see you at the house. Alright guys, so I just got back to the house. Changed clothes. Samantha's here. She finally got off work. She was late. It's like 9 12 and we're making this video because it's got to happen we're staying motivated we're gonna cook a what's this thing called samantha a fish stew fish stew okay so i i made a, a late night run over to the fusion wine shop here right down the road from our house and i picked up some wine some white wine can you read it get that in there just some cheap barefoot Sauvignon Blanc. I think I said that right. And uh, it's got to go in the stew. So Samantha is going to share with you how we're going to make this stew and how this is a little different than just cooking fish in the frying pan or on the grill or in the oven. We want to do something different. So here we go. Okay guys, so to start off our fish stew, we're going to saute some onions.
Okay, so the onions have been sauteing about four minutes and we're gonna add fresh parsley and some garlic. And I'm gonna take a jalapeno from our garden, cut it in half and throw that in there. Um, we're not gonna eat the jalapeno, it's just gonna flavor the stew so it's spicy. Here's the jalapenos. I just picked them. All right guys, since I was cleaning this here fish, check it. I figured I'd go ahead and get a little weird with it. I'm gonna do some sashimi Spanish mackerel, but I'm gonna do it how they do it here at our favorite sushi shop, Sushi Masa. Um, and they do it with a little jalapeno and a little sriracha sauce. I'm gonna do one, uh, a little bit with that. I think I'm gonna do a little bit with soy sauce just because I got so much of it. That fish today was huge for a Spanish mackerel. And while Samantha's over here working. You ready? All right, oh, we gotta get back to it. Here we go. Parsley going in there. Now let's get the wine ready. Jack didn't open the bottle for me yet. Slacker. You broke the wine corker? Jack Motley. I'm in a hurry. I was in a hurry. So Jack does dishes when he gets home while I'm on my way home. And this is how he puts his silverware back in the tray. I was in a hurry. I, I, I can't do that. I had a film to make. Okay guys, so the tomatoes were added to the pot. Just gonna let that simmer and then we'll put the white wine in it and season it up and then it'll be done. I think this is gonna be my uh, sashimi right here. It's pretty clean. The only thing you need to really do is just kind of get that part out of it. It's not the best tasting. I kind of try to keep it out if I possibly can. This, these little blood lines, just etch them out as best you can. All right, what are we doing here? Okay guys, so the tomatoes have been simmering for about 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna add the white wine right here. Smells good, must be good. That's right. Now, I didn't tell you before, but the trick to the tomatoes is to take like a can of diced tomatoes. I got the basil and uh, garlic and onion one, and I pureed it, because you want some chunks of tomato, but you don't want like all those diced tomatoes. So this gave it kind of like a tomato -y broth plus some chunks. So a tip, if recipes tell you to have crushed tomatoes, just blend up a can of diced tomatoes. So that's a good home trick. Okay, so now I'm gonna add all the seasonings we have set aside and then let this simmer and put the fish in and it'll be done when the fish is cooked. So I got some thyme, thyme from the garden, some dry oregano, you know, just a pinch or so. Hot sauce. Not too much because we have the jalapeno in there. A little salt. And some freshly ground pepper. All right, we will post the recipe in this vlog um, so you know exactly how much I'm putting in there. I don't really measure that much but it's a roundabout. All right so here's what I've been doing. I've just been cutting them into chunks like this and I'm gonna put those in the pot. It's little chunks. <laughs> okay you guys ready? So we're just gonna let this cook about five or ten minutes until the fish is done and then we'll have soup. All right guys for the sashimi I took it I took the fillets that I had the big thick ones the nice ones and I put them in the freezer here I'm gonna let them get frozen real solid um, before I sashimi it um, maybe get rid of some of the parasites I know it's not at minus four degrees or whatever the scientific approach is to it we're winging it guys and I'm gonna eat it and it's gonna be phenomenal. If not, I'll go to the hospital. Cool? Drink water. 
Who's blinded by the light? Well, it's not oh. light. All right, guys, so. Got a little shade there. Hey, <laughs> all right, so we got it all done. The stew mm -hmm. is, looks amazing. Hold on, so hold on, good. let me get you a close up view of it here. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna try it. And it smells good. I already cheated a little taste, but she did some little sprucing yeah. up since then. Well, you know, you have to taste it as you go. Make sure it's okay. All right, you do the honors. No, you do it. Okay, I'm gonna do the honors. I'm really hungry. <laughs> All right, go get me a good piece of meat here. Check it. How'd I do? Very good. It tastes just like it's out of Italy. It tastes like something from the Olive Garden. <laughs> That's what it, it tastes like. Mm, hot. Yeah, that jalapeno gets you too. I tell you, it Ooh, tastes yeah, delicious. Tastes really good. This was something different than just frying fish mm -hmm. or baking it. It's uh, something you definitely need to try. Samantha looked it up on what Pinterest. Yeah, I got some ideas. Yeah. And so definitely try some new stuff with fish. Get it, get out there on the, get get wild with it and see what you can get and what you can make. And yeah, this I definitely was the recommend perfect this. fish for, for this stew, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's perfect. perfect fish. Spanish mackerel does good everything. So to end this video, we're going to do the sashimi. I promised you I'd do it. And it's chilling. And we're going to do that here in a second. All right, guys. So we're here for the last piece of this show. Sashimi time. Got sashimi, okay? Can you see it? I basically, I put a jalapeno, and yes, I'm eating it on a paper plate with a spoon, but um, I got jal a jalapeno on a little piece of Spanish mackerel that I froze, and then I sliced it. So you can see right here, too. Can you see? And we're gonna eat it. With some sriracha sauce on so it. So it's the jalapeno with Spanish mackerel and a little drop of sriracha sauce, just like you get at the sushi shop. I'm trying to show that you can get grade A sushi and cool stuff out in the sea. She wants to eat some of soy sauce too. He's going to make me sit here and not eat, not feed me. All right, show them what you're doing here. Well, we're just going to pour some on there. We're doing this. Uh, all right, let's try it. Oops. <laughs> All right, show them what you got. Well, here goes my piece. I'm eating it with my fingers, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't judge. All right? It's gonna be spicy. Tastes good. This is spicy. Tastes just like the stuff we get at Sushi Masa. Our jalapenos are spicy this year, guys. Yeah, they're zesty. <laughs> I am just going to eat one with soy sauce on it. Very good. All right, guys. Butchered it well. It's uh, it's approved. It's uh, it's great. It's good. I've got no complaints with it. The jalapeno is catching up on me. So I got to end <laughs> this episode. And I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. But there's a cork in there. Oh. I don't know how, I couldn't get it out last time we used it. It's broken. You broke the wine or?